Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we got some breaking news. In the last 24 hours, Warner Bros. Discovery has walked away from a potential merger with Paramount, according to reports from CNBC. Now, we learned back in December that Warner Bros. Discovery and Paramount were in deep talks for a merger, exactly how deep are unknown, but deep enough that the two CEOs had a multi-hour long meeting between the two of them to discuss the big picture, what would this look like, what would stay, what would go, and other details with it. Well, now according to a report from CNBC, who cites multiple sources, who says that Warner Brothers Discovery has decided to walk away from this deal, not sign up or not merge with Paramount here. Now we're gonna break down everything you need to know about why this is important, how this is a very bad news thing for Paramount and more. Before we get into that though, if you want to learn more, I'll pull a link to this story down in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. This is breaking news, and once the video is live, I can't change it. For updates, check the show notes down below. I'll pull an update in the first pinned comment. And lastly, could you help us grow? Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people. We would appreciate your support. All right, let's get into it. So back in December, news broke that Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount were in talks to merge. Now, over the last few months, reportedly these talks have continued, but recently, something has changed and Warner Brothers Discovery decided not to do it. Now, their fourth quarter numbers weren't the greatest. While they technically had a profit in streaming, the company overall had a rough quarter, and that profit in streaming included all the HBO channel revenue bundled into its streaming. Take that what it may be. But it's very interesting to see this move. Now, Paramount is also struggling, as are all the major companies. Their streaming services have not been profitable. Paramount hopes either late this year or next year to make Paramount Plus profitable. We'll see. Paramount's also been doing other things. Their um, majority owner, which owns like 70-some percent of the voting shares of the company, has made it clear that they want to sell it. So they may have a new majority owner soon. Also, Paramount's been in talks with Comcast, not for a merger. This one's been widely confused by a lot of people. Comcast and Paramount are not talking about a merger. They are talking about a joint venture in streaming that would see Paramount Plus and Peacock, depending on who you talk to, either offer a bundled service deal where you get the two of them for a bundled price or a straight up merger, similar to how Discovery Plus and HBO Max merged to create Max. Now, I've heard more people actually say a straight merger is more likely, but according to multiple reports, deals are far from over. The majority owner of Paramount is in the process of doing an auction and taking um, taking bids and um, doing non-disclosures with people to start that process. We'll see if that goes through. Now, there was a lot of talk that if Warner Brothers Discovery did merge, uh, depending on the terms of the deal, that there may not be a sale of the majority of Paramount's shares. We'll see what that means. But Paramount, like everybody else, is facing the tough fight of core cutting, a weak ad market. And people always ask me, what does that mean? Well, yeah, there are ads everywhere, but people are paying less for ads because there's more places to put ads and lower demand right now for ads. Even in the um, election year that we are in, many people suspect that ad sales will not jump like they were expected to. We'll keep a very close eye on this. Warner Brothers Discovery, stock price was down hard. Could that have also been a big part of it when they released their fourth quarter earnings? Investors did not like what they see. Or maybe was this a financing? Were they looking for outside financers to do this? Maybe it was a terms. Here's one that always the big problems with these mega companies. You merge, okay, who stays, who goes? What leadership positions are retained? What ones are cut on both sides? We have a lot of redundancy here. Paramount Plus and Max. Do we just roll Paramount Plus into Max? Do we keep it separate? There's so many things here that can cause issues. Now, I do still expect that we'll see something happen with Paramount's ownership this year, whether that being the majority controller selling it, maybe it'll be a merger. I think that's less likely now, but we probably will see Paramount Plus bundled with other services. We've seen them talk very highly of that there, and the talks with Comcast apparently are being fruitful. So we'll keep a close eye on this, but that's the breaking news of the day. Warner Bros. Discovery is not going by Paramount Plus. Let me know what you think. What do you think of this story? Would you have liked them to merge? Or do you think that you're happy keeping those as separate companies? There's no wrong answer here. I wanna know what you think.
Well, if you're new here, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. It's a huge help. You can find out more about this story in the first pinned comment. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll be back again real soon.